Hi, welcome to week eight of CNE TV. Uh, your host, Pat Manning, President of Controls and Equipment. What we're going to talk about today is IT, information technology, how our controls and how other control systems interface with it. We're going to talk about power over Ethernet. You'll hear the word POE being banded around. And who's going to give you an overview is our Vice President of Business Development, really high level guy, technically, Brian Duck. Hey Pat. Thank you. I guess um, in this new building here at uh, CNE, uh, one of the, the uh, initiatives that Pat brought in was to make sure that we had some of the most innovative product uh, in the market, and and a big chunk of that was the POE and the Cisco switchgear and everything that went into that. So part of what we have here is we've got a Delta uh, POE-based VAB controller, and this is an industry first. Okay, this Delta was the first company in the industry to come out with a, a power over Ethernet. Uh, VAB controller, and it's, it's, it's not a typical application in the building controls market, but in certain situations where you have a customer that's got a very, uh, I guess, strong influence towards IT-centric uh, installations like connected real estate or a Cisco initiative, something like that, then it becomes a little bit more cost effective. So what you'll typically see is these PoE-based phones, so there are now gateways that can actually integrate the PoE-based phone into the rest of the facility. You can have building management information on the screen. You can control set points. You can control uh, fan speed, things of that sort. It's very exciting uh, to do those types of things. It's not the current ability to have a PoE powered VAV, but it's more what the future could hold with a product like this. So some of the specifics with this uh, PoE uh, powered VAV controller, obviously we have the, the Ethernet connection port. Uh, which would tell you your link uh, status as well as uh, data throughput. It's where the power source comes in and there's enough power available in the Cisco switch to actually power up the VAB uh, motor. Uh, we've also got a service port so that you can actually connect in and diagnose uh, the VAB or the rest of the system. So from this service port you can actually connect in and see your entire building uh, network. And then there's also the ability to connect in a, a thermostat. So we have network thermostats that can connect beneath this, and uh, you can power that as well off of this unit. So it's, it's a nice standalone package. Uh, there's also a few spare. Right now, it's powered from the switch. In the future, when you can take an IT protocol and embed it right within the controller, what that will allow you to do is get a lot more information more in an IT-centric way to the building. So, for example, this could tell the, the, uh, the network where it's physically located. It could also tell the network what type of device it is, which would then automatically and inherently in the switch potentially identify security settings, virtual LAN, pre-configured virtual LAN settings. It could also uh, set up quality of service to ensure that the building management system is achieving the required level of, of uh, efficiency and communication. So I think I'm most excited about where this could potentially go in the future. It's exciting right now, but it's also where is it going. So that's, that's That concludes week eight of CNE TV. Thanks for following along. Don't forget to hit the like button on our Facebook page and subscribe button on YouTube. See you next week. Mm -hmm.